welcome back to another video in react native so in this video we'll be looking into how we can convert an expo app into an apk so that we can use it in our own phone and if you find this interesting please smash the like button and also subscribe for more such content so let's get started so over here firstly i've created a basic expo project with the project name as project itself and this is my main app.js with a basic return block and the same thing is being shown as the output over here in my simulator so this expo app itself i'm going to convert it into an apk so firstly for everything to work correctly you need to have created a github repository and pushed all of the code into that repository all right so for now converting this app into an apk we'll be using something known as the eas cli so first step is to install that so let's head over to chrome and uh, go to docs.expo.dev forward slash build and forward slash setup. So the first step is we're going to install this EACLI. So copy that out. I've already installed that. So I'm not going to install it. So paste it over here and press on enter so that this one gets installed into the system. Okay. So that's the first step that is install EACLI. And after that, we're going to firstly convert it into an APK format. So mainly I'll be focusing on the Android users because I myself am an Android user. So I'm not sure how exactly the APKs are going to work in an iPhone. So for, uh, actually in the iPhone, I think you need access to the Apple developer account to, you know, proceed further for converting an Expo app into an APK. So the next step is we're going to convert it into the APK firstly in the Android format. So pretty much copy this out or you can just write it down over here. So here I'm going to say after coming into the project directory, I'm going to say es build hyphen p. So I'm going to say Android. So in case of iOS users, you just need to write iOS. Uh, it's going to ask you uh, details regarding the, your Apple developer account and then you need to proceed further. So here I'm going to say uh, hyphen Android just like this and press on enter. So this should create us a es.json file over here in our file directory and as you can see it has uploaded our project to eas so these are uh, this is basically the build details so if you press on this it's going to take you to the expo uh, docs over here and as you can see our build is in progress okay so if if there is any error while building this you need to cut down the server and again uh, write this code that is eas build hyphen p android so that this process starts again so this is going to take in a couple of minutes i think five to ten minutes so let's wait for that Okay, guys. So the build is finally completed, and this is our link. Okay, but there is one problem that is this is in the format of AAB and not in the format of APK, right? So we're gonna write some codes and then convert it uh, and convert this into the APK format. So now let's go check out our build in the export docs over here. So as you can see, everything is completed correctly, and there are no errors. So over here also, it is in the form of AAP. So the next step is we need to convert this into the APK format. So now I'm going to press on download. All right. So along with this, we need to download something known as the bundle tool dot jar. I'm going to provide the link for that in the description and over here also. So that thing is done. So let's uh, press a new tab and paste this out. Okay. So this is the GitHub repository where you can download the bundle tool dot jar file. So you need to download this one. I've already downloaded it. So I'll be providing the link in the description for this as well. Okay, so after doing that, I want you to create a new folder in the desktop. So here I'm going to name this folder as let's say output. All right, so I want you to put two things into the output folder. One is the bundle tool dot jar file as well as the dot AAB file. So let's do that real quick. So over here I'm going to say in the downloads, push this over here and this also over here okay so inside the output folder you need to have two things that is the ab file as well as the bundle tool.jar file to convert it into the apk format so after that over here i'm going to make use of the item in windows you can use the command prompt and make sure you go into the output folder i'm going to say cd output Okay, I think CD desktop first and then CD output. All right, so here just paste out the code. All right, so now we need to make the changes. So instead of the bundle tool.jar, we need to, you know, access the correct file name for that. So let's, so to do that, firstly, let's, you know, go into the output folder. So let's go over here and let's, you know, copy the 
name of it okay just copy this one and we're gonna paste it over here just like this and I think we need to give some space over here alright that's the correct name so the next thing is we need to you know instead of the file name dot AAB we need to write our file name which is there over here so firstly this is a, a huge file name so I'm just gonna rename this to be let's say app something like this okay I think it should be app dot AAB I guess right So I'm just going to say app.aab okay so let's minimize this and over here instead of file name I'm going to say app.aab just like that and over here for the output I'm going to give it as output.apks instead of new file name I'm going to say output alright so you need to make three changes that is firstly change the bundle tool file name and the second thing is change the AB name that is to whatever name you want to and finally change the name of the output you want to see that is I'm gonna say output.apks alright after doing that let's press on enter so after this we need to be seeing the APK present inside the output folder itself so let's check that out so as you can see this is our output.apk so with the help of this you can you know share it on <coughs> the phone and you can pretty much use the app all right so i think that's it about this video and let's say if you make any change over here in the code so to view the uh, change in the original apk then what you need to do is first you need to save the file and then you need to push the code into github again and again you need to follow the same set of procedure that is from over here that is es build minus p uh, android and after the build completes you have to again convert it into an apk and then you can view that particular output in your phone okay so i think that's it about this video so let's see you in the next video and then thank you for watching